What's up guys? Hopefully you're having a good day so far. Just an update on Mullen. We're down 1.77% on the day. And I said yesterday, is that a bull trap? Even though we're up only 4%, that's not, it's hard to say that that's a bull trap, but we're down actually almost 2% today. So, you know, it's no new news, right? If you saw my video earlier today, then you know, someone messaged me online and they gave me some updates on Unify and Mullen. And that's like the newest thing that I've heard recently. Uh, I spoke with Brad, obviously from Randy Marion. That's a hold up waiting until about September until vehicles will probably be delivered to him from what he stated to me. I've also kind of looked into any other news and there's just nothing going on right now for Mullen. And why is that? Well, if you're new to the channel, we are about to initiate a possible reverse stock split. There's a vote happening on Thursday, which is literally in two days. And there's a whole bunch of things you can vote for. If you haven't voted yet and you have the opportunity to vote, I would recommend that you go vote uh, for what you believe should happen with Mullen Automotive. I voted no on literally everything. I voted a while ago. I'm really just kind of fed up at this point, but it is what it is, right? So I've been saying in videos, you have to kind of think of this as two ways, either walk away from this money and whatever happens, happens. Let's find other opportunities, better stocks to buy into, which we have been killing it, LAZR. Almost touched $8 today. Um, it was about seven bucks two days ago. Palantir is kicking, but it's over 20 bucks right now. Tesla obviously is down a little bit, but it's been on a tear. So we're in a lot of other stocks right now that have been very good to us. And of course, if you wanna learn more about any of that, you can join the Patreon down below. There are a couple spots that opened up because people canceled, right, for $7 a month. So check that out down below when you can. And then you hear my daughter in the background, but really for Mullen Automotive, again, it's a waiting game. So I just wanna pop in, let you guys know kind of what's going on the technicals. They look bad, they don't look good. Mullen lately only runs on news. We really have to get clear from this reverse stock split looming over all of us and really what's gonna happen. You know, what I hope is that David comes out and he has some surprise news this week or if a miracle happens, there's been a lot of people on Twitter saying that there's no reverse stock split. If the reverse stock split gets erased, if it gets dismissed, then this stock is gonna go to the moon. And yes, it could. That is always a possibility, anything is possible. And the only reason that they would actually do that, take the reverse stock split off the table, is if they knew for sure that they could get this over a dollar, they have till September. So again, looking at technicals, it doesn't look great. If you look at the SMAs on the charts, I'll show you real quick. So no one's a perfect trader, especially with stocks. I mean, there's technicals you can use and it's hard with Mullen, but if we just look way back in the day, and this was like early 2023, December, November timeframe, you could see the choppiness, how we just kept going up and down, right? But the thing I want you to look at is the SMAs. So you can see the blue SMA, the first one is the 50, then the red one is the 100, and then the yellow is the 200. And never, and I'm looking back in time, never has Mullen really hit the 200 SMA. You could look at a chart, you go all the way back in time. I mean, even all the way as back as 2022, 2021, but really 2022, okay? It's never hit the 200 SMA. So would I be banking on Mullen hitting the 200 SMA ever, even in the near time future? The answer is no. And I'll tell you right now where the 200 SMA is at is $4.47. Now, can it happen? Sure. But with everything going on and the reverse stock split looming over us, it's hard to say that this could actually happen in the next week or even the next couple weeks. What I could see happen is possibly, possibly us going to the 100 SMA. If for whatever reason, David comes out this week with some crazy news, some crazy surprise that no one is expecting and really shocks the system, okay? Then yes, maybe we could squeeze and maybe we could get to the 100 SMA. Right now it's trading at $1.38. High chance it's gonna happen? No, okay. But maybe we'll definitely get to the 50 SMA if we get any news. And the 50 SMA right now is trading at about 32 cents. So again, 32 cents all the way up to $1.43. You can use other technicals like the stochastic, the RSI. These are things we've used in the past, but right now you can see it's a straight downtrend and we need more clarity on exactly what's gonna happen. So. 
Of course, let me know what you guys think. What price target do you think Mullen will get to this week? Do you think a reverse stock split will happen this week or do you think they'll wait a little bit? I'm really interested in hearing your opinions on that. This is just my opinion, not being financial advice. Hopefully this was helpful. If you didn't see my video earlier today, go ahead and watch that. It's from this morning. That will probably shed a lot of light on your questions on really what's been going on with Mullen. Appreciate you all. Have a good one.